Hi, this is Mick West of Medibunk.org, and this is a image of Blackpool uh, with Blackpool Tower in the middle uh, from the viewpoint of Hoy Lake, which is about 30 miles away. And the view is set up to simulate kind of what you would see on a flat Earth. Uh, the reason for doing this is so you can compare this image against a photograph taken from Hoy Lake or wherever you like and see what the difference is, which gives you a good idea of what's going on with refraction and what's being hidden by the horizon. But how do you actually get an image like this in Google Earth? Uh, it's actually a little bit fiddly. Google Earth isn't really, isn't really set up to do things like this. So let's just go uh, step by step through the process. All right, so if we go to, uh, to Blackpool, we get this nice 3D model of Blackpool. If we go to uh, Hoy Lake, I'm just going to use the search function here. If you go to Hoy Lake, you see it's kind of hard to see Blackpool from uh, down over here. It's uh, way off in the distance. And if you uh, zoom in, it's just going to kind of change the camera position. So what we do is this little trick. Uh, first of all, we've got to make Blackpool easier to find. So we go back, back to Blackpool Tower. And what we're going to do is create a marker so we can see Blackpool Tower from a, a greater distance with, with ease. So I'm going to do that by creating a polygon. So I go to a new polygon and I just click on the four corners of the tower. And that's going to t create a polygon. And if I click on the altitude here, I do an absolute and then I just make it some large value like 50,000 feet, uh, meters. Click on extend size to ground. It creates this big uh, kind of pillar type thing, which you can see from a long way off in, in Google Earth. Uh, now, if I go back to Hoy Lake, it makes it a lot easier to see where Blackpool is from that position. So let me now go to the next step, which is to get right down to the beach. Now you could use the little uh, you know, drag into street view here, but it's actually better if you just go all the way down in, uh, in Google Earth and just get as low as you can to the actual position. You might like snap into street view, but um, you can turn that off. Anyway, let me just go to the next thing, which is adding a photograph. So I do add photo. And I'm going to use this special link that I use, which you can use. Uh, you don't have to use this, but it's just an easy way of doing it. It's metabunk.org slash D. You have to use the HTTPS slash www.metabunk.org slash T. If I press the tab here, you'll see it's added this uh, photo overlay, which is just a transparent image. There's nothing special about it. And I was going to give it a name. I like to Blackpool Tower demo. And you see, we get all these values down here. Now, if you did this from the uh, street view, uh, you would have to click on OK, then go back into it. We have to click on exit street view, then you'd have to go back into this because otherwise the camera gets messed up. But here, because I just set the position, it's, uh, it's going to work just fine. I'm going to set the tilt back so that the horizon is more or less in the middle. And I'm going to adjust the heading so that we are heading more towards Blackpool Tower, basically getting this in the middle here. And move that up a little bit. And then this down here is the field of view, which is the field of view of this image here, which is 50 degrees. And if we zoom in to something more like uh, P900 maximum view, like a 2000 millimeter lens, that would be about uh, one degree. So I'm going to go set to two degrees here, and I'm going to have to adjust as you zoom in. Oops. And a little bit more. You can see something poking through the bottom there. Now, once you've got it zoomed in as far as this, one and a half degrees, you can click out. Then I can turn off this polygon that I added. And then I can go back into uh, the photograph and you can see Blackpool Tower just starting to poke out uh, from the horizon there. I can zoom in a little bit more. 
Now you can see uh, it doesn't look very good at the moment. That's because Google Earth uh, caches the, the the polygon model. There it is, popped into view. And so you have to wait a while for it to come back in. Sometimes you have to wait quite a long time depending on your network conditions and just what Google Earth is doing. It can uh, be a little bit, uh, bit fiddly. So uh, it's being obscured by the horizon. This is a, a, approximately what you would see from uh, uh, from Hoy Lake. Uh, obviously, Google Earth isn't accounting for refraction, so you're probably actually going to see quite a bit more than this. You might see uh, less. It depends on the atmospheric conditions, but you'll probably see a little bit more than this, and you're probably going to see it a bit distorted. Uh, so to view the simulated flat Earth model, all I do is I change the altitude to uh, just a value that you can see the coastline from. So you can just modify it here by uh, rising up and you'll see uh, the horizon dropping there. Uh, it moves slowly, but if you let go and then move it again, it'll start moving faster because it's moving relative to the original position. You can just type something in here like 150 meters, but I, I kind of like to do it manually. So you can see the horizon falling on what's being uh, revealed. You can see actually the horizon dropping away as well as you get higher, even though my uh, tilt angle isn't changing. And now you can see the uh, background being revealed. Now something to note is that it's, this isn't a perfect flat earth model, uh, flat earth view, because the hills in the background are going to be uh, at the wrong angle because they're so far behind the towers. And there's going to be a bit of a difference between uh, the the buildings as well especially here because it's at a bit of an angle but it's going to give you especially for this ocean front uh right here it's going to give you a very accurate representation and it is going to give you a very good representation of what you see what would see from hoy lake so i'm going to keep going here until i can see the beach and i'm just going to tilt down a little bit more and since i'm here i'm going to zoom in just so I can see the beach. And I'm going to raise my viewpoints up a little bit more. Google Earth sometimes jumps around. It's a bit fiddly and you might have to kind of fight it a bit, but you'll get there eventually. All right, so I uh, can't quite see the boardwalk in the front there, so I'm going to keep going. And uh, yes, I think you can sit right there. I think here you can see what I assume is the boardwalk. The easy way to test is just to keep going and you know, set some quite high value in. So I'm going to stick in 300 meters here. Um, oops. And then just tilt down. And we can see what we can actually see. Again, it's going to take a while for things to come in. And setting a high viewpoint like this will give you some idea of any parallax problems you might have with buildings being too far behind each other. But you can see here this uh, uh, pier slash boardwalk is a pier. There's a boardwalk here, and this is the beach in front, and there's the waterline down here. But this is you know this is sloping beach down here. You get quite high high tides in Blackpool. Kind of difficult to say exactly where the water line is because the, the tides vary so much. Uh, okay, so I'm going to move this back down to uh, 175 meters, which I know is about uh, about right. Might even be able to go a bit below that. 150. Hmm, looks about right. All right, so just adjust the tilt. And I can just change this uh, field of view, make it a bit bigger and zoom out again so you can see more of the coastline. You get these nasty polygonal, polygonal buildings, but if you wait a while, they'll pop back into view. You can change this uh, transparency here and get rid of the frame, but uh, I find it doesn't always work, but we did right now. So then you move this off to the side. And here is your simulated flat earth view of Blackpool. And remember, it, is, it isn't exact because uh, these hills aren't going to be quite right because they're so far away. But for buildings that are reasonably close to each other, it's going to give you a good uh, relationship between the top of the building and the uh, whatever's behind it.